I just measured out the um, piece of paper and uh, it's a little hard. <laughs> I just drew a line that's seven inches and the paper itself is eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11. So I don't even have to measure the size, right? Because we're looking for something that's seven by 11. This is your pattern for now. But then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna make it into this shape. This, uh, what is that, octagonal? It is um, four, so you gotta have a, a tape measure with metric. So if you have metric, it's a little bit better. Yeah. Because then you can do four centimeters. Okay. One and five eighths inch. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm gonna measure from the edge, four centimeters. Put a little dot there on the edge of the paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this around and do this corner. Put another little dot there. Okay. Okay, and then do it on this edge to all, go all the way around and do that on all four corners. All the corners, okay. okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my book and or my ruler, whatever you got, and then I'm gonna join up those dots that I just made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the corners off so I'm going to make a little, uh, can you see that? You can see that, right? To connect the dots. All right, so you can see I made four corners that are exactly the same, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we got, got this, this piece of paper like this. I'm going to lie this on my fabric and just cut it out. Okay. If you really want, you could also trace around it. For me. Okay, now I'm cutting the, um, the second piece of fabric. Okay. I'm putting it face down, right? Right side down. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna sew around the edges of this. So um, this rectangle shape, this is the end you do not wanna sew because this is the part that's gonna be turned inside out, right? So there's two ends, don't sew either end. Okay. So I'm gonna start here on this corner and I'm gonna do, I think it's a quarter inch all the way around. And then when I get to the corner, I'm just gonna turn and keep going around and around. And then when I get here, I'm gonna stop to this other short end and not sew this hole and skip over okay. to here and then sew the other edge. Stop You're gonna sew everything except this opening brace. Oh, everything got it. except this part. Okay, okay, got it, thank you. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I've got my pieces sewn together with this part open on the end, right? Uh -huh. If you remember, we talked about clipping corners to make it not so bulky. In this case, it's this corner here. So I just take it. And again, you don't want to cut through your sewing. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I've clipped the corners. Now you can turn it inside out or right okay. side out. Okay, so now it should look like this, right? I mean, like for this fat path pattern, it's nice to have because there is like a lot of folding. Okay, so this part is where the ironing and measuring does come in a little handy. So what you do is you're gonna lay the piece down, the front side down, and then we're gonna take this edge and fold it up. I think it's supposed to be four centimeters. At this point, I don't really measure that much, but I think it is four centimeters. And then I think you wanna do this side the same four centimeters. So it overlaps a little tiny bit. And it can be a little bit more. I think you do want to have that overlap just a little tiny bit. I mean, it's probably okay if it's a touching, but I'm not sure because I've only ever done it overlapping. Okay, so, so yeah, it should look like that. They're about the same. So this is slightly more than four centimeters. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is also slightly more. Yeah. Okay, okay. next thing you wanna do. Now we've got all this folded nicely, right? And flattened up. I'm gonna take the ends. So the ends, these parts are the end of the mask where the elastic's gonna go in. So what you're doing is you're making the casing. So you fold a little tiny bit. Fold a little tiny bit once, and then you fold it over again. And what you want to make sure you have, this is kind of important, is that little triangle there. Can you guys see that little triangle? Okay, so you don't want to yeah. fold it over so that there's no triangle. So you should have a little triangle where you can see the lining. 
but at the same time, the casing has got to be big enough to get that quarter inch elastic through. So don't make it, don't roll it up super tight, right? Do not cover the triangle. It's very important not to cover the triangle because oh, you're going to be doing the origami part. Yeah. <laughs> Just, okay. So that, I think, for me, that's like a hole. You're going to make a little sleeve. The elastic is going through is what we're making now. Is the sleeve the elastic is going to go through at the very end? Here, I'll show you. What you're making is oh. so that's what you're making now is this folded over part. So it has to be wide enough for this piece of fabric, the elastic, to go in. But the elastic is not that big. And if it squishes a little bit, it's fine. It just can't be completely blunt. It can't be like so small, the elastic can't go through. Okay, so here's, I'll show you what's gonna happen, why those triangles are important. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna sew this down and then eventually we're gonna unfold this little part here. Mm. And that's how you make the 3D. Okay. So that's why you have to have that triangle there. Because if it's covered up, you can't unfold it. Okay, so you don't really need to know that, just, <laughs> okay, so um, I made top stitching to make this more boxy, which I think is important to do. Some patterns don't, don't have the top stitching. Now, it's hard to see because it's red, but, so what we're going to do now, we've approximately figured out where the channels go. We're going to top stitch along the edge here between those two folds. Okay, and it's okay if you stop. You don't have to go all the way to the edge of the, the channel. Just, just sew most of this part here, most of the seam, most of the edge, as close to the edge as you can to make a nice top stitch. Okay. You know, okay. I need to go all the way to here, but I don't, I usually just start like there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the top stitch. Well, I'm making mine really narrow, like one eighth of an inch. It looks nicer. But it's, that's a little, you have to go kind of slow because you don't accidentally like go off the edge of your fabric. All right, so now I did one side. Can you see what that looks like? All right. One side. Okay, so I've already done this bottom edge. Now I'm going to do the opposite edge. Okay, so now I've got both sides, both edges, top stitched. And then on the other side, it'll open up still, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go back to that channel we made for the elastic, this folded over thing. And we're gonna sew that down. Let's sew right along the edge from top to bottom. So again, just making sure that little triangle is there still. You don't wanna close up that triangle. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do the other side now. All right, so here's the part that is makes the 3D, that makes the box. And this is why we have to have a little triangle. So you're going to then fold this back on itself. So you're folding the fabric back on itself. Okay, and you wanna lie that little triangle edge as close to the seam as you can. So you're opening it up like that. You're opening it up. Yeah. Okay. You're stitching right along the edge there of the fold, right on top of the, right here. Right there. Oh, got it. On both sides? Yeah. Can I just make a line or no? I just make a line. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can just, if you want, you can go from edge to edge or you can just go over the part that you fold it up. Okay. Let me see if I did. Okay. okay, then do the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open it up like that. So now I've sewn both sides and now I have my little boat. Okay, so I clipped it on the end, put the, put the safety pin through here. You can also use a darning needle and poke it through, but that's a little harder to do. So you gotta have a safety pin. 
not too big because it's got to be small enough to go through the channel. Yeah. And you just stick it in here and thread it through. And when you get to the other side, it might get stuck because it'll get caught in the fold. So you have to kind of manipulate it. So mine is now stuck in the fold, so it's not coming through the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, some other device. I have another safety pin. I'm going to stick it in here and make this open up. Okay, and that'll help you guide it a little bit more mm -hmm. to get through. Now it's coming through. Okay. Ah, it's so stiff. Okay. There it is. Voila. Are we gonna, you can either make ear loops, <laughs> ear loops, or you can do, or you can do over the head loop. You know what they do is they would tie it, tie it here, and then you'd spin it oh. back around so it goes back inside the channel so you can't see the knot. Oh, got it. Yeah, so double knot it, double knot it, right? Yeah, and so yeah, you can do ear loops if you want, if that's easier for you. That's your boat mask. Oh my God, thank so you, Mallory. Thank you.